Hi everyone, welcome to Lightning Talks, second day of Lightning Talks. So today we have Aldrin first. So Aldrin is work, he works at uh, Elastic Run. So he'll talk about uh, his technology at his company and tech stack. So yeah, I'll ask Aldrin to start the presentation. Thank you. Hey, sure, sure. Uh, so I think we can start. So uh, thanks, Sushal. Thanks for the introduction. and. Um, let me just introduce myself uh, to all you guys out there. So my name is Aldrin, uh, as Vishal mentioned. I am currently a lead engineer, um, you know, working with Elastic Run. Uh, I have been working with open source and open source technologies for almost uh, around a decade now. And uh, I personally am not a big contributor to FOSS, but I surely, I surely love, uh, you know, building applications or, or you know, just uh, cooking up something or using open source and open source technology, right? Uh, so I personally attempt uh, to write clean code and wherever possible, I even preach the same. I even keep telling people that, you know, uh, functionality is one thing, but writing clean code is completely a different thing. Uh, and also I, I feel that a good developer is not known by, uh, you know, the functionality implements or if his functionality is working, but rather how well he writes his code uh, or how modular is code, how scalable is code is, and at the same time, uh, whether it is backed by any proper documentation, right? So, uh, you know, I was listening to Shakti's call yesterday, and uh, Shakti very briefly spoke about how documentation and code comments is really a language for developers. And and I 100% agree to, uh, to what Shakti mentioned, and I definitely believe so. So, so yeah, so that's about me uh, in brief. Uh, I've been associated with Elastic Run for almost around two years now, and um, you know, working with Elastic Run every every day is is different. So when I say different, trust me, there are no two days uh, you know identically the same. It's it's different every day. Every day you need to uh, or, or or you witness something unexpected. Uh, may it be on the functional front or may it be at a technical front. There is always something new, and and that is the beauty of working with Elastic Run, right? Uh, so I'm giving a brief, I'll talk a little about Elastic Run and, and in this talk, I will uh, not talk about FOSS in general. Yes, I will talk about how we use FOSS in our organization, but mostly I will talk about how uh, we are building the ever growing network of Elastic Run by purely using technology, right? So Elastic Run is a four year young company, um, a startup, maybe not a startup anymore. Um, you know, we have actually graduated from a startup uh, to be a disruptor in the Indian supply chain landscape. And yes, I am saying that. Okay, so, so we have been a disruptor. Uh, we were established back in 2016, um, and the only goal we had was to trans transform the entire logistics space. Okay, uh, our organization is a one-of-a-kind organization. We are transforming multiple industries across India and purely, purely with technology-backed operations. Okay, so this is the beauty of the company. Uh, currently, our network has grown so much in the last four years that we have approximately around 12 million stores and we have enabled a physical reach to these stores through a crowdsource shared fulfillment engine. Okay, uh, we currently run, so we, we, we kind of, uh, you know, test various business models. We run various business models. We try to create network pan India. Okay, uh, the biggest three which we have currently put up in place is uh, we are into e-commerce, we are into FMCG and distribution and finance. Okay, so if you look at e-commerce through an e-commerce channel, we are uh, able we are able to serve e-com companies to service upcountry customers. Okay, and and what we do is that we use idle assets at these stores and and help the e-com businesses to actually deliver um, or, or deliver their services to uh, people in remote areas, right? This, what, what does this do? It provides opportunity for shop owners to kind of have uh, an additional earning. At the same time, gives enhanced reach to these e-com organizations. Currently in our network, we have uh, close to around 100 million customers and, uh, and we deliver approximately around 400 cities uh, daily. All right, and the top three e-com companies in India are leveraging this network to make their services available in the deepest rural areas of India. 
right? Uh, same is the case in uh, FMCG and uh, FMCG brands. Now, so what happens is that many brands, they kind of use our digital store network and at the same time, they use a physical shared fulfillment engine, okay, to make their products available to millions and millions of consumers all across India, okay? And, and these are the deep remote areas where distribution is the biggest problem and the biggest challenge. Okay, so brands normally face challenges to directly serve these remote areas and we generate uh, an aggregated demand to make viable this entire thing of serving and reaching rural India. Okay, so so what does this kind of benefit to the brands? The brands definitely get deeper reach. Uh, we can put up better pricing and at the same time, the increased sales for these stores, right? Now, through our entire FMCG and distribution, we are we have access to close to around 100,000 stores in rural India. And uh, and we have been tied up to close to around 100 plus brands and, you know, directly accessing and uh, physically kind of helping close to 400, me 400 million people uh, directly, right? Now, a relatively newer thing is something what we have started in finance. So by now, you must have realized that the possibilities we have are endless the digital store network and the physical access which we have to all the people out there in the most remotest area in India is all possible. And we can just build platforms to provide more and more services, right? On the finance, if you see that lenders normally have big problems while, uh, uh, while accessing financial profile of guys in remote areas who actually want to take something on credit, for, for example, any items, good items, store items, or whatever in that case. Okay, so what we do is we create a financial profile for these store owners. And at the same time, we provide these details to lenders so that they can, uh, uh, you know, provide financial services and credit services to these uh, end retailers or consumers or, or or guys in rural India, right? Through our platform, we have we have provided banks reach to close to 100,000 stores and with absolutely no credit history. So this is remarkable. So talking about these three business lines, you must have realized that the network uh, is not only making new products and services available to remote areas, but at the same time, what we are doing is generating an opportunity for people to have multiple source of incomes, right? In the most smallest and simplest way. Uh, now, this is truly a digital driven network created here at Elastic Run. And, and well, it's a, it's a no brainer. Uh, all of this is possible definitely through technology, right? Now, it's a fact and, and, and probably I will, I will reiterate this twice. Elastic Run operates the largest distribution network in India. Okay, I'm going to take a pause and repeat this again. Elastic Run operates the largest distribution network in India we are disrupting the way distribution of goods and services are done uh, by using our shared fulfillment engine we are enabling e-com organizations we are enabling fmcg organizations we are enabling uh, financial service organizations to reach the deeper and wider indian geographies which has never been been done before correct so you know, let's just forget for a moment. Let's just not talk about what businesses we run. Let, let us just look at how do we actually use technology to solve the basic problems. Okay, like like uh, we are into supply chain business, right? So, how how do we tap into a heterogeneous set of workforce spread across the length and breadth of you know varying demographics? and you know facing region you know regional challenges okay so this is a big problem we face regional challenge to actually get access to remote areas in india at the same time we create a reliable omnipresent network and uh, and provide services doorstep delivery you know from for, from sales uh, to cash collections to uh, warehouse and inventory management guess that that's the problem okay boom we have elastic run so <laughs> elastic run has built uh, entire tech backbone to onboard, enable, equip these workforce, okay, all over India easily, okay, depending upon their availability and their location, they have an app-based task execution platform, okay, and what we do is that it just weaves the disconnected task to deliver supply chain in these remote areas, right? So this is one of the examples. Uh, on the other side, imagine assessing close 
you know individual daily wages for around 40000 partners across the month okay calculating incentives enabling timely payments okay with full transparency and 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 zero disputes boom you know elastic run has built an entire backstage billing engine uh, a, a very big thing built on technology to handle such immense load right let's take another example uh, i i don't know it's it's a known fact but you know this this a 40% success rate when it comes to converting your postal addresses to geo code okay we have a smart ai based classification uh, and sorting algorithm put in place okay which doesn't rely on geo code and and we can actually pinpoint with 95% accuracy up in three tier towns okay this also is something commendable or if you look at the the load we handle every day right uh, we have close to around 5 million individual tasks uh, and checkpoints flowing through the system from everywhere okay now how do we monitor sla at the same time how do we make it full proof and orchestrate dependencies okay so this again is a challenge boom okay elastic run has a control tower engine it it acts as a crystal ball put in place proactively alerting reassigning monitoring tasks ensuring daily closures and operations with flawless execution and zero sla okay now this this is just a list of the tiny problems which we deal on a day to day basis and something what we've implemented right all of this is possible everything we've done is purely by technology okay so technology has helped us to solve practical problems in supply chain and it has helped us to grow the elastic run network further on and and we are not stopping okay so this we are not stopping anymore we have a long way to go and we are going to go all right we currently build everything on open source and and free and open source software okay so all of our platforms are built on oss all right one one very interesting thing is that elastic run there are no requirements in elastic run okay so if you are a normal developer and you work based on on requirements there are absolutely no requirements in elastic run all we have are challenging opportunities to apply technology to the real world problems okay and as a developer i can proudly say that it is very enjoyable to do such a thing okay now if if you see that we have kind of done this in the last 4 years and and it is near to impossible to achieve such a great feat in the last 4 years how was all of this possible so the only way we could build experiment run different business models uh, was using open source and open source technologies to give us a quick lead okay a quick lead to reach reach market Uh, one of the amazing finds we have at elastic run was the when we stumble upon frappe and erp next so this in itself has been the biggest accelerator in the success of elastic run so i am saying that again that frappe and erp next has been the biggest success um, you know behind elastic run in growing the network currently we run 60% of all technology uh, and the entire stack on frappe and erp next installations If guys you have not tried out Frappe and ERP Next, I would suggest go out try out Frappe and ERP Next. Half your problems are solved there itself. Okay. Uh, now, in the present day, it 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 won't be it would be an exaggeration to say that you know software and language as a technology and itself makes the idea of openness fundamental to software. Right? Forks are definitely game changers and catalysts, and every organization and more importantly. to startups right it helps us in growing and building software faster the future of open source and force is inevitable okay so i, I personally believe that that is inevitable and uh, if you even notice that there has been a decline in the usage of proprietary software and applications and biggies like even oracle and microsofts are looking you know and changing their mindset towards open source and open source technology right uh so i'm running out of time i'll probably just cover it quickly so ron just give me a minute or two right Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good. So we at uh, Elastic Run are true advocates of FOSS and open source technology, and we use it to solve all our business problems. We do not build FOSS products, uh, not just yet. Maybe soon. I don't really know, because all our solutions are built to fuel the operations of the organization. Right. We at Elastic Run we invest in engineers. we do not invest in proprietary software or copyright licensing software at all 
Okay, why? Because if you are using proprietary or copyrighted software, you're bogged down by that. You have to wait for updates. You have to wait for certain fixes to come in. If you have engineers, engineers who have a proper mindset, you can use open source technology and start building whatever you want. Right now, I'll quickly just yeah. yeah. So this is just a quick of how we are placed right now. Okay, uh, our, our organization is uh, we are cloud native. We have a mobile first. Um, a mobile first mindset. We completely work with open source and, and this is how we are placed. I won't take much of, of your time. Probably I'm running out of time over here. Uh, if so, I'll just continue forward. So guys, if, if you're looking to work with a group of guys who, who work, you know, based on impromptu things coming up and work on functionality technology and and are just open to everything we are looking we are hiring okay we have we if you want to check in more details you can definitely look out at our hackathon at the hackathon portal or at a uh, you know website for more details okay and just to conclude uh, if you look at elastic runs tagline we it mentions that we are a network of possibilities and we at elastic run are building this network truly by technology completely built on open source. So Vishal, uh, that's my bit. Yeah, uh, thank you. Thank you, Audrey, for joining us. So uh, uh, yes. I think there is some question, but uh, I think uh, like they are asking probably, how do you like, uh, how you will choose which OSS to build? I, I think like, I'll ask you then the next slot. If you are like, okay. to answer, it, it's good to go. Yeah, yeah I mean, I'm fine to answer. Yeah, yeah, yeah tell me. cool. So how do you how do you choose like which OSS to use uh, while building an application? Okay, fine. Uh, so I, I'll give this answer short. So as I mentioned that we are majorly a logistics organization. Okay, for us building technology, yes, we want to build. But for us, what matters is how fast we can reach market. Okay, at the same time, definitely not compromising on the way we code, right? Uh, so. Since most of our stack is already built on Frappe and ERP Next, you know, we keep updating, building around, making reusable components, uh, kind of overriding stuff, you know, and, and this is usable across all of Frappe and ERP Next uh, installations. On the front ends, we create reusable web components which we can use. Okay, so that if we have multiple apps, we can start using that. At the same time, to give us a lead ahead, we sometimes refer to uh, uh, UI templates, okay, so that we can build applications within a day or two. So when I say day or two, yes, maximum a week, and, and we are there on ground using it. So if, if there's a new feature implementation requirement we need to build, what we really check is that if there is uh, a similar uh, or, you know, open source software already on GitHub probably. And if yes, we fork it out, we update it, we fit it in our context of business and we are good to go. Yeah, I think uh, he might have got the answer. Uh, yes. So uh, another question, do you build any FOSS related projects? Uh, so I mentioned, as I mentioned, we do not build FOSS or any um, open source uh, from scratch. Okay, at Elastic Run again is a logistics company, and we have a sizable tech team, and we use open source to the extreme to kind of override and and use and build in our context and give us a lead start to reach market as soon as possible. So you can hit the GitHub uh, handle of Elastic Run. You won't really find uh, anything much useful. We have put in some enhancements over Frappe and ERP Next, but uh, but if there's an opportunity where we see where we can contribute, we would definitely, uh, you know, start contributing in, in, for FOSS related projects. Yeah, cool. I think uh, this was our couple of questions. So thank you, Arvind. Thank you for joining us. Thank you a lot. Thank you. Thank you so much. Yeah. All the best. Bye.